Welcome to a new product segment of Jay Leno's Garage. You know, there are a lot of guys that uh, kind of sit in their garages and come up with tools or interesting ideas for products and uh, they don't really know where to take them or how you advertise them. And what we try to do here is we try to help uh, those kind of do-it-yourself guys by putting them on this website and exposing their product to a wide audience. You know, it's expensive to advertise in automobile magazines and stuff like this, so we do these for free. And uh, there's a lot of really interesting characters out there that come up with some great products like this one here. Uh, Bob, come on in. This is Bob Baker. Bob, how are you? Hi, Jay. I'm fine. Okay, this is called the Auto Fender Bib, and this is custom fit for my uh, Challenger, this particular one here. You do custom fit for any car, right? I'll f custom fit anything that has fenders, yes. Any anything that has fenders. All right, that sounds... Because <laughs> you know how it is. You're working on your car, and you've got the belt thing, and you're doing this, and next thing you know, you've got a big scratch or a big scrape. Now, you're a retired guy, right? Yes. See, there are a lot of retired guys sitting <laughs> home inventing this stuff. This is what's kind of cool. So, uh, and what, what business did you retire from? I was an operations manager for a moving company. A moving company? Okay, yes. so you must know about... This almost looks like the kind of pads they use, is it? This is the high-end pad, yes. Okay. All right, so ex explain what we have here and why a person just couldn't cut out a piece of this and make their own. Well, for one, it's, it's cut in about five different places. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, this is actually made out of one blanket that is actually 72 by 80 inches, but the overall dimensions are like 104 this way, and it's just, right. it's bigger than the blanket. But the way that I've designed it and cut it out and reassembled it, it fits. Okay, and it's obviously very soft because yes. they use these for people's pianos and antiques and yes. things like that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we've all done that. You know, you're all like this, you're oh, fixing that air cleaner, and oh, your keys, something scrapes the fender, you wind up kicking yourself. Or even just check on a fluid level. Right, right, okay. Um, so this comes apart in pieces? Is that how it's This is one piece. This okay. is all one piece. It's custom fit to fit this application. Okay. So people call you up, they say, I've got a 64 Mustang, boom, and you make it. What, was, what would something like this cost? This particular material, this is $149.95. Okay, well, that's not bad. That's not too bad. They also have a Scotchgard type material or liquid, so if anything spills on it, Scotch guard, it'll beat up, and it'll you can just wipe it right off. Right, so you don't so you don't wind up spilling brake fluid on your fender. Or well, you don't want to leave it on there, but yeah, no, wipe no, it yeah, off. I get you. Another layer of protection. Well, it's a great idea. It seems like one of those things that uh, somebody must have thought of before Bob came along. But you're the guy that's got it out there, so that, that's pretty good. So. Uh, what made you decide to go into the business? What made you think you'd make a living doing it? Well, it started off as just an idea. Back in 2009, a few of my friends and I were walking through Hot August Nights, looking at the cars, and I saw a fellow that had a beautiful car. I don't know what it was, but he had at least a ten dollars or $20,000 paint job, and he just had a rubber fender cover leaning yeah. over the car. And I'm thinking, there's got to be a better way. Yeah, yeah. And I thought about it and tried some things on paper, and with the boom, moving experience, uh, hey, let's try it. Right, okay. And it took me a while, but it seemed to work. Yeah, well, you know, that's, uh, that's great. And it's obviously, it's all made in America. You're up yes. in Sacramento, California? I'm in Sacramento. Okay. I make them, sew them, reassemble them, everything. Okay, and how's business been, okay? It's starting to, people are, are being more familiar with the product. Right. Uh, the different shows that I go to, uh, Hot Rod Magazine's using them in their shop. Right. Uh, and uh, yeah, the business is, it's not growing real fast, but I wouldn't be able to handle it if it did. No, I got you, it's, got you. it's growing, you know, it's going up consist consistently. I, I mean, it really is a great idea because when your car is broken, you immediately want to fix it right away. So you don't think about, you just, you just get right in there and try to take care of it and you wind up cutting and scratching everything. So what do we, what do we have here? What, what is the actual material? Can you tell? Oh, I see. It's, oh, it's, it's polyester on the outside okay. and the inside is recycled cotton. That's okay. it. The Velcro that I used is just to tighten up the front end, but that's always on the outside. It never touches the paint. I see. All right. So the only thing that touches the paint is the soft polyester. Very cool. Now, also, you have, this is a custom fit one. I mean, do you make, uh, was that what that is, a universal one? I have a universal. I had people with, in restoration shops that, look, Bob, I can't buy one for every car that comes in here. Right. You need to make something that's more universal. Right. So it took me a while to figure out how it's going to work, but I did. And okay. And that's what we have over so here. we have over here. Well, let's take a look at that one. All right, this is my 56 Chrysler Imperial here. As you see, it's got, it's white, and there's a couple of little 
scratches on there from people bending over the fender. So let's, let's try out your product here. Let's open the hood first. It'll fit just about any car from 1950 to 2003. Give it even, a shot. even the pickup trucks. Okay. You will lose a little bit as far as the custom fit part of it, but right. it is adjustable, so we can adjust it to fit. There, okay, this by goes the, up here. Yep. And then the, that long piece connects. This here? Yes, that holds the back together. And this goes back there and comes around to the front. And with the Velcro. Look at that, fits like a cheap suit. How about that? There you go. <laughs> yeah, the nice thing is you're covered no matter where you go in the car. A lot of times you have the fender cover on one side, then you run over there to do something over there, and you don't take it with you know, I you just it's just kind of a fun, neat idea. But and you have the versatility, Jay, that it'll fit. Yeah. People have more than one car they want to protect. They don't have to buy right. three and four different bibs. Right, right. One will fit. So, so you got the custom one, which runs you about what? How much? One forty-nine ninety-five. How much the universal one? Ninety-nine dollars. Oh, ninety-nine dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there you go. So, if you don't mind a little ill-fitting like me, then I don't look like I my clothes. I have this custom-made shirt; it'd be three hundred bucks, or I can spend. <laughs> 40 bucks and just buy this one. So basically the same thing. But you get the idea. The car is protected all the way around. Uh, that's kind of fun. I mean, that's what we like to do here at the shop, you know? He's a retired guy. Instead of sitting home and watching TV, he invents something, and he starts a business with it, and he makes it here in America, and he passes it on to your car guys. That's 99 bucks is not a bad deal. That's about what you'd pay if you went into a, a parts store and bought kind of a a couple of fender covers will run you almost out. Yeah, a couple of fender covers aren't this high quality, so check it out. Here's his website, and uh, yeah, let's support these guys. Jay, I had a, a, a fellow come by at a car show a couple of weeks ago, and he looked at one side, and he walked around the other side, looked at it, he was standing in front of it, and he was just scratching his head. He says, comes over to me, he says, how does it not fall off the car? <laughs> And then he comes back and a light goes on. I could see, oh, yeah, it goes around behind yeah, the hood. it goes all the way around. So yeah. Very good. Bob, thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Jay. Yeah, check it out.